If you were active duty military deployed to Iraq or Afghanistan, there was a one in five chance you suffered a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. Now, a TBI is a shock to the brain that affects how the brain functions. They can range from mild, a concussion, to severe. And the symptoms can last a few minutes or a lifetime. Mild TBI is the same thing as a concussion and is one of the most common deployment-related injuries. Most people recover fairly quickly from concussions, but many service members are bothered by concussion-related problems even after they've been home for a while. Moderate to severe TBIs are just what they sound like, more serious injuries to the brain. To have a TBI of any severity, two things must be true. First, the brain is physically affected by some outside force. And secondly, in response to the physical injury, brain function is, at least temporarily, changed or altered. Yet despite the fact that the brain is physically affected, TBI often leaves no physical evidence of an injury. That's why TBI is sometimes called an invisible wound. As a result, people who suffer TBI sometimes think that they can walk it off, not realizing they are injured because there are no outward physical signs. Some service members even continue their mission, possibly increasing their risk of further injury. Months after the injury, the person can look completely fine, yet actually have serious problems. This can cause difficulty not only to the person suffering the TBI, but also to his or her family, friends, or even command. TBIs can have several causes, especially in war zones. In a combat zone, blasts are the most common cause. And you don't have to get hit directly to suffer a TBI. Air or sound pressure from a blast can do it. Getting knocked to the ground and hitting your head can do it. Thermal toxic inhalation and electromagnetic fields can also be the sources of a traumatic brain injury. Other common causes are motor vehicle accidents, paratrooper jumps, and assaults. Basically, anything where the head gets hit by or against something or suffers some sort of shock to the brain, such as shock waves or sudden deceleration, can cause a TBI, even when someone is wearing a helmet or other protection. Other videos in this series look at the symptoms, treatment, and recovery from TBI. I encourage you to view them so you can develop a good understanding of traumatic brain injury.